Have you ever wondered why after the pandemic, there are millions of jobs available and companies still can't find workers? In this video, I will give you three reasons why Americans still refuse to go back to work. Coming up. For the first time, my name is Lon Jordan, and I am a speaker and author of Sketched by Design, and I give tips to help people discover their unique design so they can be successful in the 21st century marketplace. So why are Americans refusing to go back to work? Well, the first reason is that they desire to be their own boss. What human beings desire more than anything is the freedom to be who they are and the flexibility to create their own schedule. And if the pandemic has taught us anything, it is that people have grown tired. People are tired of having to ask their bosses for permission to go on vacation. And people are tired of not having the flexibility to attend to their children's needs. And people are tired of going from job to job to job every two to five years just to get a pay increase. And people are tired of being told what to do. According to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, in the past two years, around 10 million business applications were filed. And in 2020 alone, more than 4 million new businesses were launched. What this reveals to us is that people desire the power to control their environment. And what this also reveals to us is that people desire to live life on their own terms. And I want to encourage you, if you're in a job that doesn't give you personal fulfillment and doesn't allow you the flexibility to live life on your own terms, to start a side hustle. Side hustles allow you the opportunity to earn extra income, and they also give you the opportunity to pursue work that aligns with your gifts, skill sets, and values. To learn more about how to start a side hustle, make sure to watch my video up here. While many companies struggle to find workers, Many Americans, on the other hand, have decided to be their own boss. If you are enjoying this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would click the like button so this video gets pushed out to more people. Why do you think so many Americans refuse to go back to work? Let me know in the comment section below. The second reason, many Americans are lazy. In a previous video, I talk about how many people are not lazy, they're just uninspired because they haven't found work that ignites the vision within them. And even though this is true in many cases, the reality is there are still a lot of people who don't want to work because they're lazy. They see a $15 an hour sign in front of a store or a hotel and won't even apply for the job because they believe that they are worth more than that wage. When in reality, they haven't even put in the work to increase their value in the marketplace. They consistently overestimate their value and complain that they're not getting paid enough when in reality, they haven't found any success because they haven't committed to anything their entire life. They take government checks, but are unwilling to put in the work to build a successful business. They smooch off of family members, but are unwilling to do what it takes to get that high paying job. So why are some Americans still refusing to go back to work? It's because they're lazy. And until we start taking an honest look at ourselves and analyze why we are stuck in our situation, we will never begin to see success for ourselves. Third reason, many Americans are changing careers. According to a survey conducted by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, 33% of women indicated that the need to be home and take care of children and family members has made it nearly impossible to return back to work. And 28% of men indicated that their industry was still suffering and not enough jobs were available to go back. What this reveals to us is that many Americans are changing careers because of the lack of flexible hours, lack of access to childcare, and opportunities. Another reason people have changed careers is because they were not making enough money to provide for their families. And because of their strong background and experience, they were now able to get a different job with higher pay. And believe it or not, some people had the extra time to transition into another career because someone else in their household was making enough money where they were able to quit their job and find work that was more fulfilling. Because of the variety of career options available, many Americans have refused to go back to work. Question of the day, 
Why do you think so many Americans are not applying for jobs? Let me know in the comment section below. To learn more about why Americans really aren't going back to work, make sure to watch my video up here. If you are enjoying this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would share it with a friend. See you in the next video.